I'm Kevin Scarf. I'm the marketing director on Last Year. Last Year is an asymmetrical multiplayer horror game where one killer has to hunt down a group of teenagers. I'm playing as the Slasher, one of three playable killers that ships with the game. The game is set on Halloween night in 1996. We've been meticulously crafting a universe that draws you in and puts you in the center of your own 90s horror film. Survivors can actually fight back with weapons, so being the killer means you need to be smart and creative with how you attack your victims. One of the best ways to do this is with Predator Mode. This lets the killer unspawn and turn invisible at any time. The killer can then move extremely fast, completely invisible to the other players, and use this to plan the perfect ambush or toy with the survivors. To spawn in or out, the killer has to be out of sight or use the environment as a spawn point. There's a couple of survivors now. It looks like Chad and Troy. They might actually have weapons already, so it could be risky to try and attack two people head on. What I'll do is unspawn and look before I plan my attack. First, I'll place a trap here. Last year is filled with different environmental spots, like this trap door that the killer can use to separate survivors from one another. Now I'm going to actually use that skylight up there as my spawn point. Now that I've trapped him, I'm going to go in for the kill. In order to save this clan member who have been bitten by a snake, one option is to summon the mighty snake divinity at a sacred place you can see in the distance. Playing as a shaman, you will learn several ways of asking nature for help, like in this case, how to call an eagle.
me how to make an antidote or control a snake. I'll build defenses around the power collector, because enemies will attack it when you activate it. Throughout the game, players will be able to complete different quests, both to progress the story and strengthen your odds of survival. These will bring you unexpected outcomes, invaluably helpful rewards, and answers to questions you wouldn't dare ask. In the Wild Eight, a huge, procedurally generated open world awaits you to explore. The endless snowy forest conceals a vast array of interesting locations, secrets, cameos, and other easter eggs hidden throughout the game. When we started building the world of the Wild Eight, we asked ourselves all kinds of questions. What sort of place is this? What sort of animals inhabit this harsh land? What plants could survive this weather? What mysteries could be concealed under the snow and behind our characters? Now we have an enormous, fleshed-out world with its own rules, mysteries, dangers, and history. The only question left is what will the player bring to our game? 
players can choose one of eight unique characters, each with individual abilities and captivating backstories that may at first be wretched in shadow. One of the characters can create medical items much faster than others. Others excel in physical abilities, some in agile feats, others are keen learners and acquire skills at a faster rate. All of these things and more after release await you in the wild lands of Alaska, in the Wild Eight. It's over, boy. My name is David Goldfarb, and this is Project White. Project White is set in an alternate history of the early Viking era. This is the Dark Ages, and in this history, humans share the world with the last remnants of a forgotten species of intelligent creatures. Now, what's unique about our game is that you see the world through the eyes of these creatures. And at the moment, we have the point of view of a young creature, basically a child as it's searching for its parents. As you can see, these creatures move on all fours. Uh, young creatures are good at sneaking, climbing, and jumping. This is a cruel world, uh, and humans have almost eradicated your kind entirely. Here we can see two of them hacking away at the body of your father, probably to take a trophy. Hit that hump! 
They've spotted us. We need to get away. A wild child, you can easily be killed, even by the weakest humans. We're trapped on this bridge. Maybe there's an escape route. Okay, I think we're safe. As you move around the caves and tunnels that these creatures inhabit, you'll see what humans have done to your kind over the years. Let's sneak to safety. Now, one of the things about being a young creature is that you're, you can crawl into spaces that no human could follow. Now this huge cave, with the mysterious tree, is one of the last few places of refuge in the world for creatures like you. So that's the world through the eyes of a young creature, running away from even the weakest human. Now we're going to go forward in time and see the world through the eyes of a larger, more powerful adolescent creature, and see what they're capable of doing. Ah, 